guys, my name is Catherine, and today I'm going to show you what it takes to get a degree in computer science. So we're going to walk through my transcript, and I'm going to show you what classes you have to take in order to get a computer science degree from Vassar. So I went to Vassar College. You could get a computer science minor, or correlate they called it, or a major, and I got a major. But because Vassar was a liberal arts school, I took a bunch of like unrelated classes too. So we're going to walk through it. It's going to be great. Here we go. So going into college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I loved math. And everyone told me, math, physics, engineering, like, do engineering. And of course, Vassar, like, doesn't really have engineering. We, they, um, they have, like, a dual degree program. And I was looking at the requirements for that. And of course, you know, physics was on it, bio, chem, and then computer science was on it. And I took chemistry and physics and bio all in high school. And computer science was really the only new one and bio and chem and physics, they had really, really long labs. And I was already gonna take physics because that's what I thought I wanted to do. And, but bio and chem, I was like, ah, oh, those four hour labs, no thank you. And then in computer science was an hour and 15 minute lab. So I was like, ah, okay. And I already had like three hour film screenings because I was a film minor, but yeah. So ended up taking computer science, loving it, hating physics, like, oh. So yeah, so first semester, computer science one, with a lab, loved it, obsessed, loved it. Like we had a great professor. We learned Scheme, which makes no sense. It was like a functional programming language and like, and I studied so, so hard for this and now I don't, I couldn't write two lines of Scheme. <laughs> and yeah, so Computer Science 1, you learn about data types, you learn about, like vectors, because we, you know, functions, um, we had vectors, we, ha we didn't have arrays, we had vectors. We had um, the idea of mutable versus non-mutable programming was in that class. How to create variables on a very, very basic, it was very, very basic, nothing crazy. I don't even think we had like if statements or while loops, it was very basic, but very difficult like functional programming is really, really difficult because everything like feeds input into each other. And I think the goal of this class was really to teach you recursion. And so recursion is a topic like day eight or nine of my days of code has like an explanation of this. But I think the goal of this class was to really learn recursion. Then I took Chaplin and Keaton. Those are silent film like gurus. And so we watched those films, wrote papers about them. And that was that class. And then to give myself an easy class for a semester, I took a uh, single variable calculus. And I'd taken that in high school, but like, I feel like it was required or I just wanted an easy class or something. Or like I didn't test into the higher math. <laughs> um, and so I took that one and that was easy. And then fundamentals of physics one with a lab. That one I hated. Oh, no thank you, no thank you. Oh, I. Like, I always would come into class thinking it's going to be a good class, and it never was. <laughs> Just never was. Um, I liked Chaplin and Keaton, though. I hated writing the papers. Um, single variable calculus, the professor was really good, very, like, chill, um, liked him. But, yeah, physics, oh. Yeah, so then I decided computer science is the thing. I actually had to have, like, a really hard conversation with my, like, we, you get a pre-major advisor or whatever. Um, and they help you figure out what courses to take to meet your goals. And my pre-major advisor was teaching that physics class. And so, yeah, I had to tell the physics professor who wanted me to do physics that I didn't want to do physics. And so I was like, no, I want to take computer science. And so I did. And the next semester, so this is second semester of freshman year, when I took computer science two, and this was Java, a very, very Java based. It was, you know, how to do a variable, how to do a print statement, how to do if statements. And then it went into data structures a little bit. So we learned, uh, you know, about linked lists. We learned about queues. We learned about stacks. We learned about arrays. We learned about a little bit of trees, not a ton of, like maybe binary search trees. And that was pretty much it. Um, it wasn't really on the theory of those data structures. It was on how to use those data structures in Java and then how, if you weren't given the like linked list class, how would you make the linked list class? So how would you basically create these data structures from scratch? And I found that really helpful. It was very slide based. And I think at a lot of universities, you'll see that a lot of classes like this are slides and then you'll have the lab where you actually do things. 
yeah, slides. Okay, and then the next one <laughs> was Foundations of Computer Science. This is a strange course. This is like trying to be discrete math, but wasn't. It was a lot of proofs. It was a lot of set theory. It was, I just remember this one being a lot of work and being glad it was over because we had to code in Scheme for this one again. And I liked Java a lot more, but I loved Java, like I loved just building stuff with Java on my own. And yeah, so I really liked doing the assignments for 102, the Computer Science 2 class, that it didn't really matter that I didn't like 145, uh, the foundations of computer science. Then I had the art of film. And this was, I loved this class, like, uh, she's great. Um, our professor, she's a great professor, very fun, like, we had very interactive projects. We did, like, memorize a lot of stuff, but we had to watch a lot of films. It was on the basics of, like, not programming, <laughs> basics of filmmaking a little bit. So, like, you know, different components of, like, film and very basic film class, very, like, light and sweet, a good one. Um, and then I had multivariable calculus which had a good professor, but it was a hard class. Like, I found it really challenging, and that's when I was like, okay, we're done with the math classes for the most part, or at least with calculus. <laughs> then we had the summer, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do computer science still. Like, I loved computer science, but I wasn't sure if I was ready to give up film and filmmaking, and so I did, like, an internship with this guy, Kenny, and Kenny, like, makes the, uh, what's it called? Like, you know those really bad commercials with, like, the lawyers? And it's like, if this has happened to you, did it? So we, we would make those. And it was me and Kenny. And we would, you know, put up the green screens and, like, set the camera angles. And that was fun. But I was like, Ugh. I missed thinking in the logical computer science way. So, came back. Um, also that summer I learned Objective-C and Swift. So that was the summer that, so it was fall, summer 2014, that was the summer that Swift came out. And I spent all of June learning Objective-C because I really wanted to make an iOS app. Oh, also, okay. So end of like my freshman year, at this point I was telling everybody to go, I convinced like two people on my floor to learn how to code. I loved coding. Um, even if I didn't love setting the classes, I loved like going on my own and just building and like improving on whatever I built maybe for that assignment or building something else. Um, I was obsessed. I loved coding. Even if I, did, I didn't really understand it, but I was just like, go learn how to code, learn how to code. I loved it. And one of my friends told, asked me, like, hey, could you make this iOS app? And I was like, sure, I know how to code. Like, I can totally make that for you. And tried to learn that summer. And so tried to learn Objective-C. And then I realized, oh, Swift is the new thing. Like, let me go learn Swift. July, learned Swift. And I was like, Ugh, okay. But really got out of that summer, like what, you know, the model view controller is, understood Java a lot better by learning a new programming language, learning something like Swift, um, really kind of grasped a lot of it. And that was really the summer I learned how to code. It was not really in my classes. It was on my own figuring it out and just being able to have time to build my own stuff. Um, that being said, I had some amazing coaches, or you call them teaching assistants, um, and they really helped me that second semester of freshman year with the Computer Science 2 class. Really, like, I asked them a billion questions. Oh, they probably hated me, but, you know, use your TAs. So, yeah, so that summer, learned how to code. Didn't ever make the app. The app was called, it was going to be called Moji Me. Yeah, it sounds a lot like me Moji, but we were going to call it Moji Me. And it was the idea you could like, take a picture of someone's face and turn it into an emoji. That was 2014, and then Apple created it a lot later, but we didn't have any of the tech or knowledge to even think about how to do that. So, and it was going to be a very, like, it captured it, and then you could have it as an emoji, but it wasn't like a face, like, like how you have the me emojis now. It wasn't like that emoji thing. So it didn't end up making it, being like, sorry, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but really learned a lot that summer. Then came back and was like, cool, computer science, this is it, this is my life, this is what it's gonna be. Like, I'm not really feeling film, I'm feeling computer science is the thing. And took computer science three, so loved this course. It was the best course like I've ever taken. I learned so much from it. Um, it was really hard. It was basically we were given four projects and each like 
probably it was like every three or four weeks we would have one of these projects due and you would incrementally work on the project, including things that you heard about in lecture. And so one of these projects was implementing a binary search tree from scratch with all of these operations. And then the second one was like make your own game with certain requirements. And then the third one was like basically making your binary search tree self-balancing. And then uh, the fourth one was like continuing to iterate on your game and making it a little bit more crazy. So that was really fun cause just because we had so much freedom to like build whatever we, want, we wanted. Then, um, in order to get the film requirement in minor, I took world cinema to 1945. That was like film history. Then a production class, uh, story and screen. That was like, we made our own movies about stuff. All of my movies were terrible. <laughs> like so, so bad. Like I was clear, that was the time I was like, yeah, I'm not a filmmaker. We tried. Yeah. And then I took linear algebra and loved linear. I got it. I understood it. And it was very like, point blank. It was very point blank math in that you'd never seen this before and we're going to teach you from the very beginning. And that's the thing I will say about the 101 class, like that first computer science class I took. They taught it from a basic level one standpoint. They didn't go to level 15 and expect you to be there um, like they do with math. Like when you go to college in math, like you start off with calculus, like you're not starting with one plus one. In computer science, you have to start off with like the equivalent of a one plus one because no one's ever seen this stuff before. At least now they have maybe, but I remember they asked like, okay, who knows how to code in the room? People raised their hands. It was like three people out of the class of 25. It was a small school. Um, but out of the class of 25, three people raised their hands and he was like, okay. And then continued teaching from that. And so it was really taught from that like level one, uh, which I think really, really helped me. But a lot of schools don't do that, especially ones where engineering is their main thing because they expect you to have taken an AP computer science class in high school and have that year foundation. Then that winter, I went to London and Paris and it was amazing and then came back next semester and took computer organization, which is like hardware of computers, breadboards, logic, truth tables, that sort of thing, feedback loops. Then analysis of algorithms. This is another like hitter for the programming interview questions. So anytime you go, you want to be a software developer and you go and you interview for what position, analysis of algorithms, that's going to be a course that you um, want to have taken. And so that's like, you know, big O notation, that sort of thing. Then we had modeling, uh, simulation and analysis. This course I don't really remember much of. Our professor was like gone half the time, so I didn't really do a lot in that one. Then uh, I tried to make an iOS app with uh, someone and we like did a, what's it called? Like an um, independent study creating this iOS app. Learned a ton more about iOS development and like how all of that works. Didn't have a whole lot of structure. So I think when you're doing an independent study, you should really have a lot of structure around it so you actually do what you say you're gonna do. But it was like a fun little thing that we learned. And then I took the second half of film history. So you had to take it within two. It was like a year long thing. Then we had that summer. That summer I applied to a ton of internships and got zero. Like, well, didn't get zero. Got interviews for three, got two of them. And then one, like I wasn't going to take because if I took it, I would lose money. <laughs> if that makes sense, like I would have... Like they were only gonna pay like, you know, 3,000 for the whole summer, like a good qual you know, summer job. Um, but like the cost of like moving to where the play the internship was and like food and transportation, it was just too much and I would have lost money. And so ended up just staying on campus and working as a research assistant for this one professor. And the professor like left two weeks after like he like into like basically what he did was he came introduced us to unity because we were building this like game for in unity and it was there were certain like components to it and, and then he just left after two weeks and then we would always skype him telling him about our progress and of course we didn't really have any progress because we didn't have like the professor um so it was hard so that was difficult but um that was actually the summer i created 30 days of code and that is a whole other like story time business but um basically created like this whole youtube channel created all of that because i had so much time and i was bored out of my mind and we i was staying on campus where there was no ac in these units there were there was no ac anywhere except the computer science building and the chemistry building and so i would go there and make youtube videos because I didn't want to be in the heat. 
Um, but that was a really, really fun summer. Um, so that was like my sophomore year, summer after sophomore year. Came back for junior year. Um, went to Grace Hopper celebration. That was amazing. Definitely a highlight of junior year. But also took a bunch of hard classes, took language theory and computation, which is like like state machines and stuff like that. Um, definitely its own whole other unit com to computer science. Very, very interesting. A lot to do with compilers and like, okay, if these things are true, then you go here, then you go here. Very logic based. Then I had networks. And so networks was basically like, how do you do a full stack website? It was how do you maintain a database and how do you get things to connect to each other? It was like networks and databases, I think was the course. It was how do you call an API? How do you do those things? So pretty, you know, fundamental stuff. It was all done in Java. Then had graphics. Oh my gosh, worst course ever. Hated it. Hated graph. That's when I was like, I cannot be an animator or I can't work on tech that deals with animation. Um, graphics had a lot. It was C++. It was really, really difficult. And it's not because it was difficult. It was hard. It was just a lot of just like, I have no even, no clue what I'm doing. Like no clue, no we made it through that one <laughs> and then took intro to physics because I wanted an easy class because I was taking three really hard computer science classes. So took um, intro to physics and loved this professor. She was incredible, very communicative, very like she would give lecture for maybe 15 minutes and then insert something that was a little bit more dynamic, whether it was a video or a poll or something like that or us just discussing amongst ourselves, or some just interesting activity. And so I loved that. Like, and you know, you, your physics, your, your psychology professors should be really good at teaching because they know how your brain works, right? Or no, um, and she was. Then went home for winter break, came back junior year, spring semester. We were interviewing like crazy. Like I was interviewing like insane, like literally like interviews every day, like really, really tried to get a great internship and ended up interning at a media company and loved it. Like it's the media company I'm working out now. But yeah, basically was interviewing a ton during this period and junior year, second semester, I also went to a ton of hackathons. And so Vassar was great because I got not only like computer science classes, but other types of classes too. And that was great. But a lot of times, a lot of the innovative technology, and this isn't just at a liberal arts school, but this is everywhere. You're not really given the innovative tech and there's no real opportunity to keep exploring on that emerging tech avenue. And the community at a smaller school isn't gonna be as like big. So I would always like apply and go to these hackathons and loved, loved the hackathon. Like literally traveled across the country visiting all these hackathons and would compete and maybe win things, maybe not, whatever, but met a ton of connections and met a ton of amazing people. Like that was a highlight of the college career. It was like attending all of these hackathons. And I don't know if like a hackathon, like if those are, of hackathons are still really popular, but I highly, if you were in college, go to a hackathon. If you were in high school, go to a hackathon, like see where you can get in. But also took a ton of classes this semester. I took compilers, operating systems, which are like the two hardest computer science classes like you will take. Compilers, you literally build your own compiler. Operating systems, you built your own operating system. And operating system, I had a lot of really good partners, so they saved me there. And then compilers was just really hard, but we had an amazing like teaching assistant and really got a lot of help there and was able to push through it. Advanced special topics, I literally don't remember what that class was. <laughs> I think it was like cybersecurity maybe or network security. I, I really don't remember, okay. Then we had the robotics competition. I just look at this and I laugh because I, I didn't go to any of these classes. I Robotics, I think I maybe went to one class and thank God they gave it to me. Like, thank God they gave me the, I, like basically for the robotics competition, you were put into a group of like five people or four people. And I didn't realize like you really needed to know how to make robots before taking this class. And I didn't know how to make robots. And so, but my other three partners did. So I would offer suggestions and they would totally be just wrong, like bad ideas wrong. 
and I was just like, okay. And so then I was just like backing up a little bit and like, cause there wasn't like enough time cause because I was traveling for the hackathon. So there's just not enough time to learn it. And I thought the hackathons were more important because of the network connections and the opportunities for like internships and full-time jobs. And so, yeah, wish I could have learned how to make a robot, but we didn't do that. Thanks to those that passed me through that one. Then these were really two cool classes. Introduction to Stagecraft was where we learned how to like rig stuff and like work with a set and how to do like lighting design and how to cut wood. And we use like wood cutters and shears and all these different tools. And that was cool. That was a really cool class. And then Russian sci-fi cinema was like Russian sci-fi films. And those were like so inspiring, like super inspiring. They inspired like a couple of the hacks I did at hackathons, obsessed with that class. And you basically just had tests and not a lot of papers. And so I was all about that one. I hated writing papers in college. That was why I probably didn't take as many film classes it was because I hated writing papers. <laughs> Coming in to college, I had like three AP classes, English Literature and Comp, Environmental Science and American History. Those were amazing because that is what allowed me to graduate early. I, I couldn't find my actual transcript, so I just kind of looked at my schedule from three years ago to find out what classes I took. Um, but my, so we had the summer junior year, interned at a media company doing like tech stuff, built like some chatbots, that sort of thing. And then coming back, I did Filmmaking One, which was like a filmmaking course and you made films. Realized again, this is not for me. I took American TV history, which was really, really interesting because I had interned at a really big media company and just hearing about the history and how all of that was intertwined. Loved that, hated writing papers. Um, like I found that like if you don't really do, if you don't do computer science, physics or some kind of science, you, you write papers all the time in college. If you take a history, you're writing papers. If you take psychology, you're writing papers. If you take, I don't know, maybe acting you don't, filmmaking, you still write papers. Did not like that. I took bowling, that was fun. And they literally drove us to a bo bowling alley every like week or every like class time. And we would bowl for two hours. <laughs> Um, maybe not the best use of my credits, but then after that, I would have dance improvisation. <laughs> Clearly senior year here, like senior year, 2016, dance improvisation. And that was a very strange class. Like, oh, I remember the professor would be like, I want you to make a spiral. And we would just like, it would be whatever, when you, whatever you thought of as a spiral, you would just do. And you would move your body and it was strange. Oh. I also did independent study with my old psych professor because I loved her so much and I was like, hey, do you need any help? And she's like, yeah, I need some help. And she had seen my YouTube channel and like the 30 days of code thing that released. I was like impressed with it and she's like, oh, I want to do my own thing. And so I helped her like set up her YouTube channel, filmed a couple videos for her and helped her set that off. I also had a foreign language requirement, but I was able to test out of it. So no Spanish one for me. Then senior year, I only did one semester of senior year because I was able to graduate early. And so that next like semester, I was working like in a full time job, came back, graduated, like walked with my class, graduated. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Catherine and that was my computer science degree. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope you learned something new and thank you again for watching.